Good morning. Today, now we are going to solve problem 3.7 from Fundamentals of Electric Circuit 5th edition by Alexander CDQ. So, apply nodal analysis to solve for Vx in the circuit given. This is the problem. Okay. So, we have to find out this Vx and this is the dependent current source given and another current source is also given. Okay. So, we are going to solve using nodal analysis. So, first we have to identify the nodes. So, this is the reference node or the ground where the potential is 0. And then we mark this node as V1. So, into which we assume the current as I1 current entering here and I2 current entering into this node and I3 current is also entering and I4 current is leaving. So, you can take any arbitrary directions for I1, I2, I3 other than I4 because this direction is already given in the problem. Okay. So, now we are going to solve this. So, it is a nodal analysis. So, we are applying KCL. It states that sum of the entering currents is equal to sum of the leaving currents. And also, we can write the equation here at this node. Entering currents are I1, I2, I3. So, we sum them all and then leaving current is I4 alone. And by noticing this, we can take this Vx is equal to V1, isn't it? This V1 and Vx are the same. Now, we are going to apply Ohm's law for this currents. So, how do you write I1? I1 can be written as 2 amps because it is given in the problem itself okay then i2 it can be written as 0 minus this v1 divided by this 10 ohm resistance similarly i3 is 0 minus v1 divided by this 20 ohm resistance and what is i4 it is already given in the circuit itself so it is going to vx now i am going to replace this vx by v1 because we have taken this right so so, we keep this 2 here. Other terms are brought to the right hand side. So, we get this as 0.2 V1 plus V1 by 10 plus V1 by 20. Now, we can change this signs. So, we can write this as 0.2 V1 plus V1 by 10 plus V1 by 20 equal to 2. Then, we take the common denominator as 20. So, multiply this term by 20. We get this as 4 V1 plus when you multiply this by 2 times you get 20 here. So, numerator also we multiply by 2. So, 2 V1 plus this is V1. That is equal to 2. Then we cross multiply these 2, 20 and 2. So, we get this as 40. On this side, when you add, we get this as 7 V1. So, V1 is equal to 40 by 7. That is equal to 5.714 volts. Okay. Already we know that V1 is nothing but this Vx. So, it is equal to 5.714 this is the answer we get. Thank you.